later, okay? Okay, I might be back after lunch. Okay, that'd be awesome. I'd be sick. Okay, I just need to get signed in. Okay. Who's in? Is anybody there yet? Yeah, but I'm not. Okay. Let's see. I want to say hi to Mary Calvert. I ain't never been with a body. I'm here, I'm here, guys. I'm here, I'm here. I want to say hi to Mary Calvert. I don't think my mom will be here. She doesn't come to this one? Mm -mm. What about Cam? Mary Calvert is Mary Calvert? She's doing her, she's doing her lunches. She's, no, she's doing her tricep. Tricep. <laughs> Happy New Year, almost. Hi. <laughs> hey, I'm going to work. <laughs> Bye. You wanted to say hi. You wanted to say Happy New Year. <laughs> Well, happy New Year's Eve. He doesn't know that the Zoom crowd, we're just like chill. We're just chilling. We're just chilling. <laughs> Bye, Bye. 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 Yeah. What? I'm glad you don't have to drive today. Me too. Okay, Michelle's here, Jill's here as well. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Okay, I'm gonna pin myself and then... I'll mute all of you. So if you want to play music or if you've got stuff going on, noisy stuff, that's fine. Just as long as you can hear me, see me. Oh, there's your rubies. All right, friends. So 45 minutes, let's do this. <clears throat> so start in your seated meditation, whatever that is for you. If you want to kneel, if you want to put a block underneath your butt, kneel. Sit cross-legged. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna stretch my arms up. I've had this like sniffle, like my sinuses, but I, I tested for COVID and I'm negative, so don't worry. <laughs> I know you're at your own home anyways, but just so you're <laughs> aware. <laughs> okay. All right, when you're ready to settle into stillness, so rest your hands either on your lap or maybe bring your hands to your heart, close your eyes, and let's get right into our breath. So next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can. Hold in fullness. Spit a little extra. And when you're ready, open mouth, sigh, ha. Ah. Let's do that twice more. So inhale, fill up. Hold, take a moment, little bit extra at the top. And then exhale, let it go, sigh it out. <sighs> Last time, so biggest inhale of your Friday morning. Maybe your final, hugest inhale of your 2021, who knows? <laughs> and then when you're ready, you just sigh out your mouth, let it go, ha. Huh? Seal your lips now and begin to drop into ujjayi breath. And then as you move into your ujjayi breath, as you start to cultivate it, feel it, hear it, just come forward to your hands and your knees. Start to move your body. So you can take some cat cows, you can take some big circles all the way around with your hips or maybe just move your hips side to side. So anywhere you want to go, feeling into all parts. So you can get super creative here. When people first start practicing, I feel like they can figure out very little movement from this position. So the more you practice, figure out all the different ways in which your body can move. So many little joints. So move through your elbows, move through your fingers even, your neck, your shoulders. Feel into your shoulder blades, each little vertebra in your spine. And then all the while, you're connecting with your big spacious breaths. Good, you guys. And then whenever you're ready, take it back to downward facing dog. Hey, Michelle, I can see you. <laughs> Thanks for being here. 
So back in down dog, let's give ourselves about five rounds. So anything that feels good, you can bend your knees a lot. You can lift your hips really, really high. Or maybe you want to rock forward to plank, press back to down dog a couple times. So just like from hands and knees, how you got really creative, you were really exploring, do the same thing in your down dog. So traditionally, or I don't know about traditionally, but I am a very alignment based teacher to some extent. I like alignment. I use alignment cues. But I think there's also something to letting go of those alignment cues and really feeling into your own body from the inside. It makes people really uncomfortable because they don't know what to do. You're at home, close your eyes, go in and just feel from the inside. Maybe it's very subtle movement. Maybe it's really big movement. Big deep breaths. Take one more round. And then at the end of your exhalation, just walk your hands to the back of your yoga mat. So you're coming into a forward fold at the back of your mat. Eventually, all the weight comes into your feet. Feet are hips width distance apart. All of your toes face forward. You can have your feet even a little bit wider than your hips if you'd like. Little or big bend in your knees. Bring your hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers at the base of your skull. And then point your thumbs up towards your earlobes, elbows out wide. Maybe a little sway side to side. Maybe a little bob up and down. So try to lengthen through the back of your neck. Relax your neck. Take one more round. And of your exhale, release your arms. And just ever so slowly roll up. So one vertebra at a time. Your arms and your head are heavy the entire way. And then at the very, very top, your head stacks. Take some rolls with your shoulders. So roll your shoulders up, back, and down. And then eventually, shoulders back and down, palms open. Stand with your feet hips with distance, all 10 toes forward, or now big toes touch, little gap in between your heels. So those are your options. Close your eyes, root down through your feet, feel your feet on the ground connected to the earth. Find a sense of rootedness, groundedness, and connection within yourself. So from the inside, feel into yourself, into your center. And then imagine at the crown of your head, just visualize a little lotus flower opening up, blossoming. And this is your connection to whatever God means to you. So your God, your source, the universe, something greater than you. So you're moving that energy through you. You feel expansive, spacious, and grounded, rooted at the same time with your eyes closed. Just embody this for a moment. Breathe into it. Next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can, rooting through your feet, drawing up through the crown of your head. That lotus flower opens. And open mouth side. Ha. Ah, all right. Ujjayi, reach up. Inhale. And exhale. Take a swan dive down. So lengthen as you dive. Halfway lift. Inhale. Spine parallel to the ground. Back of your neck is long, so your gaze is down. Exhale. Fold and bow. Now press into your feet, reverse swan dive all the way up. Inhale, reach up, hands to your heart, exhale. One more round just like that. Inhale, reach. And slow dive. So try to take the entire length of your exhale, feel your body move through space, then let it all go. Halfway lift, inhale, super long. Exhale, fold and bow. From the press of your feet, lead with your heart. Take it all the way up. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, hands to heart center. All right, friends. Inhale, arms to the sky. 
Hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back and down, shoulder blades hug your spine. And then if you can, start to reach your hands back away from your body. Maybe add a little back bend. So heart lifts up, hips press gently forward, hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more inhale. And exhale, hinge at your hips, take it all the way down, forward, fold. Relax your neck at the bottom. Breathe in, keep your hands clasped, spinal extension. So as you lengthen, feel your back muscles squeeze around your spine, back of your neck is long. Exhale, fold. Take one big inhale in your forward fold. See if you can lift your sit bones higher, lift your knuckles higher. And then exhale, hands to your low back, release your clasp. You can let your arms hang for a moment, maybe give them a little shake out. And then when you're ready, like you've got bear paws, start to crawl your hands, paw your way forward to the top of your yoga mat, plank position. So shoulders over wrists, hips level with your shoulders. If you want to come to your knees, you're welcome to. Start to rock, little baby rocks forward and back. Draw your belly button in and up and squeeze through the front of your legs, through the front of your thighs. Next time you inhale, that little rock forward. See if you can stay on your tippy tippy toes or knees to modify. Exhale all the way to your belly, one strong, straight, powerful line. Spider-Man Cobra, bring your hands out wide, lift to your fingertips, elbows face up. Inhale, lift your heart. Press your pelvis down, press your shoelaces down. Exhale, twist to your right and dip your left shoulder towards the center of your mat. Inhale, back up, heart lifts, shoelaces down, tone your low belly. Exhale, twist to your left side. Good, inhale, back to center. Go one more time, each direction, moving with your own breath, feeling into your body. Maybe you're closing your eyes. Feel your breath moving through you. Eventually, you'll come back to center. You can stay there as long as you'd like. When you're ready, we'll meet back in down dog. So transition however you want to get there. Once you're back in down dog, reconnect to your ujjayi, strong, powerful breath. All right, great big inhale into your down dog. And exhale, gaze forward this time, step, tiptoe, or hop, forward, fold, top of your yoga mat. Once you've arrived, halfway lift. Breathe in, exhale, bow and fold. Root through your feet, reverse swan dive, lead with your heart all the way up. Inhale, stretch tall. Hands to heart center, exhale. All right, we're gonna balance. Inhale, take your arms up. Root down into your right foot. Float your left knee up, standing staff. Flex your left toe, so make your left foot active. Hug in with your inner thighs. Take one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, super slow transition through airplane. So you're gonna bring left heel to your left butt cheek and then hinge at your hips as you swing your arms back. Start to extend your left leg back. Keep a little lift in your heart. Hips square, bend your standing leg as much as you need to. Back muscles squeeze around your spine. One more round, your fullest expression. End of your exhale, land in crescent. So left toes step to the back of your mat, arms to the sky. If you need to take a moment and just adjust your legs, please do. Settle in. Find your slow, deep breath. Front hip pulls back, back hip pulls forward, so hips are square and that's where you find your stability. Back leg strong, powerful. Tone your belly, so navel to spine connection and then lift your heart higher, perhaps even a little gaze up, take one more inhale. Spread your fingers. Exhale, hands come down. We're gonna twist now. So left hand on the ground or you can use a block if you've got one at home. Right arm to the sky. 
So back leg stays strong and powerful. Don't get lazy in your back leg. And then with your front hip, your right hip, imagine you're trying to drag it back, but at the same time, your right knee is magnetized to your left armpit. So there's some resistance there. Breathe all the way down into your low belly and use your exhales to twist further. Take two more. Perhaps gaze up at your right fingertips. Very end of your second exhalation, let it go, unwind, walk your hands over to the left side of your yoga mat. So parallel your feet, straighten out your legs, inhale to a halfway lift position. I like fingertips on the ground personally. And then exhale, either work into your wide-legged straddle, wide-legged forward fold, prasarita, or you can explore. Maybe there's somewhere you want to take this. Skandasana, headstand. Maybe you want to go into a twist from your wide-legged stance. So feel free to get creative or just stay, be still, breathe. Explore with your breath. Explore with your awareness. All right, friends, last round here. Next time you inhale, come back to your halfway lift position, <clears throat> fingertips on the ground. Exhale, walk your hands forward, rotate your toes forward. So back to a low lunge. Now bring your back knee down gently, and you're gonna take your right leg back to a three-legged tabletop. So right leg back, Draw your low belly in and up, your belly button towards your spine. Inner thighs hug in, and then take your left arm forward. Spinal balance. All right, so feel this long, strong line of energy. One more great big inhale, and then exhale, right heel towards your right butt cheek. Reach your left arm back from your mid spine. So focus on the bottom tips of your shoulder blades, Lift your heart, gaze forward. So try not to just lift your head with your neck. Lift your heart from your mid and your upper back. Stay right here, this is perfect. Or if it's available, grab hold of your foot. <clears throat> now you've got a little bit of leverage. So kick foot into hand, pull hand back into foot. Hug in with your inner thighs and lift open through your heart. Breathe, one more huge breath. End of your exhale, come back to your spinal balance, neutral spine. So breathe in, reach long, feel your belly button draw in and up, and then exhale, elbow to knee, curl in. This should feel relatively good now. Hold here for an extra breath, rounding. Inhale, re-extend, neutral. Exhale, set everything down. Take your knees nice and wide. Bring your big toes to touch and sit back into a child's pose. So hips back, forehead down. Friends, reconnect to your ujjayi, strong, powerful, spacious. If you want, give yourself an open mouth. Exhale, open mouth, sigh. And then let's meet back in downward facing dog. I'm still with you. I'm just over here messing with my iPhone camera because it's being weird. Okay. <laughs> Technology at 
as usual. All right, so from down dog, big, powerful Ujjayi breath. Inhale your right leg to the sky. From here, let's open up our hip. So try not to shift through your hands or your shoulders. Bend your right knee, reach your right knee out, lift your right knee up, hug in with your left inner thigh and lift from your belly button. Feel your connection to center. Push the ground away with your fingertips. One more inhale. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. <sighs> Navel to spine. Hips are level with shoulders. Inhale, back up, three-legged down dog. You can open your hips, scorpion your leg if you want to. Exhale, right to right, so as high as you can get on your right arm. Inhale, three-legged dog. And then exhale. This time, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly. Step through, low lunge. From your low lunge, standing splits. So left leg floats up. Forehead towards your shin, nose towards your knee. So one legged forward fold is all that's really happening here. Relax your neck. Loosen up through your face. Unclench your jaw. Ha. Make sure you're breathing. Left leg powerful and strong. If there's a way you want to explore or play here, go for it. Handstand hops, balance. Maybe you turn it into a half moon. We're not going to do half moon today. So if you want it, go for it. Let's take one last big inhale, everybody. And then exhale, forward fold. Set your left foot down next to right. Give your right leg a little shake out. In your forward fold, pedal out your heels. So bend both knees and just move your hips side to side as you bend one knee more. So just like you would do in down dog. For some reason, it's more confusing for us in a forward fold. <laughs> All right. Halfway lift, breathe in. Realign your spine nice and long. Exhale, fold. Root through your feet. Lead with your heart. Take it all the way up. Inhale, stretch. Arms to the sky. Hands to heart center. All right. We're going to do all of that on the other side now. Yay. Arms reach up. Inhale. So high mountain. Now root into your left foot. Float your right knee up into space. So hug in with your inner thighs. Flex your right toes. Right foot, right leg, active and strong. So you want to feel like your right leg is holding itself up, not like you're, not like it weighs a million pounds. If it weighs a million pounds, you're not engaging the muscles. Take one more inhale, reach higher, and then as you exhale, airplane. So right heel towards your right butt cheek first, like a hamstring curl, if you've ever taken an aerobics class, and then hinge out your hips, swing your arms back, extend your right leg back slowly, so it's like your slow motion kicking back. Heart is lifted, hips are square, smiley face shape from the top of your head back to your heel or back to your toes. Last round, we're going to land in our crescent lunge, so end of your exhale. See if you can slowly and softly step back. If that didn't happen slowly and softly, no big deal. Take a moment to adjust. So arms reach, heart lifts, breathe, slow breaths. Connect back to your center, rooted, grounded. And then as you reach up, visualize your connection to source, to the divine, to God. One more big inhale, little gaze up. And then exhale, hands come down. We've got our twist. So feel free to use a block under your right hand if you've got one at home. Left arm reaches up. Revolve lunge. If you want to modify back knee, can always come down. If your back knee is lifted, back leg should feel powerful and strong. Imagine you're trying to pull your left hip back, but at the same time, your left knee is magnetized to your right armpit, so you feel that twist right at your center. Breathe down into your belly and work your twist. Good job. Two more rounds. Huge breaths. 
strong through your legs. Very, very end of that second exhalation, release, unwind. Come back to center, or excuse me, so unwind and bring your hands all the way over the right side of your mat. I guess in some way you're coming back to center. <laughs> Parallel your feet, straighten out your legs. Halfway lift, breathe in. If you want to try reaching your arms out to both sides, it's a little more challenging, so go for it. Get creative. When you're ready, either forward fold or wherever you want to take this. Maybe you work your feet out a little bit wider, see how it feels. Maybe you bring your feet in a little bit closer, see how it feels. So what feels most skillful, most beneficial? What is serving you best in this moment? So sometimes we get into habits in our practice. Every time we come into our wide-legged straddle, we know exactly where we're gonna go. So rather than Following your habits, feel into right now. What does your body need right now? If you always do a headstand, maybe today you don't feel like doing a headstand. Can you be okay with that? Let go of your ego around it. Judgment. Let's take one last round wherever you're at here. I wasn't looking at any of you. If any of you were doing a headstand, that was not targeted towards you. <laughs> Halfway lift. I can't even see you right now. Halfway lift, fingertips down. And then slowly crawl your hands to the top of your mat. That was just hypothetically speaking. <laughs> speaking to myself, really. So we're back in our low lunge. And, and from our low lunge, we're going to bring our back knee down gently. Take your left leg back three-legged tabletop position. So take a moment, and with just your leg extended back, square off your hips. So feel that hugging in of your inner thighs. It's like you're trying to rotate your left inner thigh in and up towards the ceiling. Draw your belly button in and up, lengthen through the back of your neck. Now keep all of that, take your right arm forward. Spinal balance. It's like you're going to shake somebody's hand. Palm faces in, thumb faces up. Take one more inhale. Strong, powerful line of energy. And then as you exhale, left heel to your left butt cheek. Reach your right arm back from your mid spine. So squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades and lift your heart. So not from your neck, just lifting your head. It's from your mid to your upper back. Now, if it's available, grab hold of your foot. That gives you some leverage. Kick foot in the hand, pull hand back into foot. Hug in with your inner thigh so you're not shooting your left knee out or your right hip out. Hug in, lift and open. Breathe down into your belly. Check in with your left arm. Make sure you're not hyperextending or locking out through your elbow. Your muscles are working last round. Like you're moving in slow motion, release. Inhale back to spinal balance, forward and back. Exhale, elbow to knee, round, curl in. So chin to chest, navel to spine. Stay here for an extra breath, hold. See if you can get even smaller with your second exhale. And inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release it down. Take your knees out wide, big toes touch, hips to heels, forehead to your mat. So wide knee child's pose. Feel your breath, feel your body. you guys. Last couple. You can exhale out your mouth if you want to. And then let's meet up downward facing dog pose. So strong ujjayi breath. Next big inhale, left leg high. 
Now notice, try not to move through your hands or shoulders. Make this come from your hip joint. We're going to open our left hip, so bend your left knee. Reach your left knee out. Reach your left knee up so you feel it almost peel open. It stacks on top of right. Hug in with your right inner thigh. Lift from your belly button. Push the ground away. Take one more in-breath. Active through your left foot. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Push the ground away, navel to spine. Inhale, three-legged dog, scorpion your leg if you want. Open your hip. Exhale, left to left. Aim super high, so aim for your armpit. Inhale, three-legged. And then as you exhale, knee to your nose, scoop out your belly, step through. So from your low lunge, you're going to go into your standing splits. Left foot roots down, right leg floats up, forehead towards your shin, nose towards your knee. Lift, navel to spine, yes, good. Stay where you're at, or if you wanna explore, you wanna get playful, play with your balance, play with your handstand pop-ups, open up to a half moon. So your own exploration. Couple more rounds, slow, spacious, really intentional breaths, soft face. One last inhale, so reach, 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 right leg high, and then exhale, set your right foot down next to left, nice and easy, forward fold. Give your left leg a little shake out, and then Feet hips width distance apart or even wider. Walk out, pedal out your heels. So it's just like you're walking out your dog, but you're walking out your forward fold. All right, now listen, take your feet all the way to the width of your mat. And then some people can keep their feet parallel, but I have to bring my toes wider than my heels. So that's the modification. We're coming down into a low yogi squat known as malasana. So try to keep your heels down. If you struggle keeping your heels down, sometimes what you can do, kind of roll up the front bit of your mat, and then you have a little bit more cushion, a little bit of lift for your heels. So there's your modification as well. Elbows to inner thighs or inner knees, hands to hearts. Broaden your shoulders, your collarbones. Some people can sit in this position forever. For me, super uncomfortable. There's a lot of sensation. So wherever you're at here, just be with it. If it's really easy for you, you want more, see if you can take your arms to the sky, interlace your fingers, steeple index, press your arms back, press your chest forward, so don't let your spine round. Take three more rounds all the way down into your low belly, low back, all the way down into your hips, your groin, your pelvis. Heels down if possible. See if you can pick up your toes, spread them. Try not to rock onto the inner edges of your feet. Last huge breath, massive breath. Good. From here, here are your options. You can plant your hands and just step your feet back to plank. Move through a vinyasa. You can plant your hands, maybe play with your crow, or if you've got another arm balance you've been working on, maybe crow to tripod headstand, back to crow. Eventually, feet back, vinyasa, or skip it. Downward facing dog, child's pose, or hero's pose, kneeling position. So you can end up in any of those three postures. Give yourself about Three breaths, three to five. couple of rounds. Open both sides if you'd like. Downward facing dog. Oh. 
All right, we have made it. Pigeon pose, so take your right leg up, inhale, and then exhale, pigeon, right shin forward, set your body down gently. If you wanna take a different variation, Please feel free, so seated or on your back, you're more than welcome. Hug in, so if you're with me, this regular pigeon, hug in, front hip pulls back, so you wanna plug the femur bones in. Your right butt cheek should not be on the ground, it should be hovering above it to some level. Especially if you're somebody that's got really naturally open hips, rather than exploiting your joint flexibility and just sitting in that, Plug your joints in, plug the femur bones in, and then stretch into the muscle. You can only do that with that a little bit of muscle energy, that deeper awareness. So you're stabilizing, you're creating this strong structure as you stretch and work to soften the muscles around the bones, around the joints. Take about five more breaths. If you want to go deeper, you can scoot your back knee back further at any time. Keep your right toes active like you're trying to spread them. One last huge breath. <sighs> Plant your hands, so start to lift your upper body. We'll take it back to our three-legged down dog. Tuck your back toes, press into your hands. Three-legged dog, right leg all the way back and up. Give it a gentle shake out. You can also flip your dog if you want to as a counter stretch. Couple breaths and flip dog, wild thing. Move through a vinyasa if you want. And then eventually everybody downward facing dog, walk it out. So feel into that difference between right leg and left leg. Right side and left side. Big inhale, left leg high. Exhale, pigeon, left shin forward, set your body down. All right, plug the femur bones in, left hip pulls back, right hip pulls forward. So you're building the structure, that's what we call the integrity. And start your bow whenever you're ready. As you're bowing forward, so your heart's going forward, your left hip is pulling back and even slightly up. Spread your left toes or have the intention of trying to spread them, even if they don't spread. I feel like it took me like three years till my toes actually moved. <laughs> For so long, I would try to spread my toes, try to spread my toes, and nothing would happen. It's like I was willing my toes to move. <clears throat> I think if you practice yoga a lot and you can move your toes, you don't realize how, how many people cannot move their toes. As we age, our, sh our shoes, our feet are in our shoes and they just get atrophied. Our muscles in our feet get atrophied because they're not being used. We have all the support of our shoes so the muscles don't need to work. So if you can't move your toes, if you can't spread your toes, nothing's wrong with you. That's actually really normal. But keep 
exploring it. Just when you're laying on the couch watching TV, work on spreading your toes, working the muscles in your feet, bringing them back to life. If you've been practicing, like my mama, for like the last 50 years of your life, she's got really good, strong feet, strong toes. But once you lose it, it's hard to get it back. There's my soapbox ramp for the day. <laughs> Take about three more breaths. So if nothing else, make that your New Year's resolution, learning to move your toes <laughs> by the end of 2022. All right, my friends, I'll leave it kind of up to you. So maybe give yourself one or two more rounds when you feel even on both sides with your pigeon. Let's take it back to one last down dog. So you don't have to come with me right now, but when you're ready, you'll take it back to your three legged dog. Give your left leg a nice little shake out. And maybe even a flip dog or a wild thing. One final down dog. When you are ready, get there in your own time, in your own way. One final vinyasa on your own if you want it. Good job, you guys. Take one last huge breath into your dog pose. And end of your exhale. Just bring your knees down gently and find your way down onto your back. However you want to get there, you can face whichever direction you want. Once you're on your back, great big huge inhale, full body stretch. So get super, super long, pull yourself apart, breathe in. Exhale, hug your knees in, gently rock from side to side. Knees to the right, left arm out to the left, supine spinal twist. If there's a different variation that you want to take, feel free. And I oftentimes need to kind of move my hips around to get into the place where it feels best for me. So you can take your knees up towards your for some more, you can take them further away. See how that feels, see what changes. You can scoot your hips back towards your left, the left long edge of your mat, or away. Breathe down into your belly. Feel that length from your left shoulder down to your left hip. Think of lengthening that space with each breath. And then we'll transition slowly to the other side. So come through center, take a moment to neutralize and that can look so many different ways. Maybe you just take a little rock, rock it out. Maybe you give your knees a big squeeze. Maybe you take another full body stretch. Eventually supine spinal twist, legs go left, right arm out to the right. Breathe down into your belly. ground hold more of your weight each time you exhale when you feel even on both sides or pretty much even are we ever really even I don't know <laughs> when you feel pretty much even on both sides come back to center take a moment to neutralize and then happy baby to finish our practice <sighs> flex your toes grab hold of the outer edges of your feet if you can inner edges is also fine big toes 
ankles, shins, or backs of thighs, whatever is available to you. You can rock it out. You can lengthen one leg, then the other. So any last little movement exploration from Happy Baby. And then you guys have made it to the best part, Shavasana. So as you're ready, just transition into your final relaxation. So traditionally that's corpse pose, but whatever feels good to you. Maybe you want to lay with your belly down. And I will read to you this last practice of 2021. This is a reading called Gratitude. Of course, by who else? Jeff Foster. Despite the sorrow and the despair, despite the times when I thought I'd never make it, despite the days when the mind seemed like a torture chamber and the body a prison, Despite the years of pain and profound alienation from my true nature, it has been an amazing life, a life of unspeakable riches, and I wouldn't have wanted it any other way, and it couldn't have been any other way. And if it all ends tomorrow, if the curtain falls, I will be reduced to a word. There will be only a single word left. And that word will be the word that started it all. And that word is gratitude. Thank you for everything. The light and the darkness, the gain and the loss, the success and the failure, the pleasure and the pain, the joy and the sorrow, and for the unspeakable awareness in which it all came and went like birdsong. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this practice. Thank you so much for practicing with me throughout the year. I hope to see you many more times in 2022. Stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like. Namaste.